Hey guys, Anthony and Samia here for Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes, and we are finally back home from CES 2012 in Las Vegas, although your voice is only partially back. Only partially back, yep. CES was so crazy, so exciting. I got a little too excited over all the products and screamed a little too much. Well, while we were on the show floor, we gave you guys a first look at some really cool new gadgets from Sony, like the Xperia S, the new Android Walkman, and some new Vio design concepts. Right, and we also asked you to post your questions and comments on YouTube. Well, we checked those out, and today we have some answers for you. So, first up is from someone who asks, at what screen dimensions does the current level of LED density require downscaling to 1280 by 720 in order to still fit all the pixels? So this technology uses uh, one red, one green, and one blue LED for each pixel. Now, of course, for CES, what's been developed is a prototype on a 55-inch display. If you think about scaling up using this technology, since each pixel has their own set of LEDs, you'd be looking at adding more pixels, so that means more LEDs. Sony's research team is currently looking at what other screen sizes would be suitable for a crystal LED display, whether it's bigger or smaller. But keep in mind, making it smaller would basically mean packing in the LEDs to a smaller area. So when you think about how this might get applied, bigger is better because you can really see and appreciate the superb picture quality. Now we did see a lot of questions about pricing on the Crystal LED display, both on YouTube and on Sony's Facebook page. But uh, this is just a prototype, guys. It's a research technology, so there aren't any models set for market right now. If more info does become available in the future, we will definitely keep you posted. Okay, on to the next question. It is about the new Android-based Walkman Z. Now, Games Player One Right. Does this support FLAC audio files up to 1.5 megabits per second and above? Well, the answer is the Walkman Z series player doesn't currently support the FLAC codec natively, but because the Walkman is Android based, whatever's in the Android market that can support FLAC should work on the Walkman, provided it's Android 2.3 friendly. Now, taking a quick look at the Android market, we did see some popular players for FLAC files like Anla. So, there you have it. So this is another question about the Walkman Z from a GoGoTube who asks, you can play Android games, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I want to make the distinction that just because the Walkman Z series isn't PlayStation certified doesn't mean it can't play Android games. It can play any Android games that you can download from the market, like Angry Birds. Uh, all right, moving on to the mobile phones announced at CES. The first question is regarding the Xperia Ion. The question is, is the NFC enabled on this or only on the S? So this is a cool question. The Xperia S and the Xperia Ion both support NFC, and for many people, this is kind of a new thing. NFC stands for Near Field Communication, and it's a technology that enables data exchange between devices within a short distance, like a couple centimeters. So basically, you can tag your friends in a photo or initiate multiplayer games by like tapping your phones together, or you can check in at places or even like things Facebook style in real life by putting your phone next to an NFC tag. And it's like, it's kind of like a newer, cooler version of using a QR code reader and scanning a QR code. So those are just some examples of existing and possible uses of the NFC technology. Since it's an open system, any app developer can come up with their own unique use cases and apps or services that support it. All right, looks like we have another Xperia Ion question. Can this download third-party apps because AT&T's other Android phones don't? Xperia phones on AT&T have full access to Android Market, which has more than 200,000 apps from developers, third parties, and whatnot. Now, there were some questions about both the Xperia S and Xperia Ion regarding internal memory. Now, here's the deal. The Xperia Ion has an expandable micro SD slot. And in contrast, the Xperia S is all internal memory. But at 32 gigs, that's plenty of space. Okay, so here's a question about the Bloggy Live camera. How good is it in low light situations and in high volume areas like concerts? So this was asked a lot about previous models and a lot of people sent light and flash requests to us and the product team listened. In addition to the high quality CMOS sensor, Sony added a very bright LED lamp to help illuminate your subjects. And here's one more Bloggy Live question. If I record in portrait, will the camera itself convert that to landscape, like flip cams do. So this functions the same as the previous generation of bloggies. You should shoot in landscape if you want to record landscape videos, and the camera is designed to be most comfortable shooting that way. So whichever way you're holding it, that's which way the video is going to go. Okay, that's all the questions we have time for now. Hopefully we cleared things up for you. And as all these new products get released this year, we're definitely going to try to get some of them into the studio so we can show them to you in more detail. In the meantime, if you want to watch more of our videos, just go to youtube.com signal. For now, this is Sami and Anthony saying see you next time.